So in the regulation 13 sub regulation number one, this is simply saying a custom broker. Custom broker means who has already passed the exam under regulation number six and to whom a license has already been issued under regulation number seven. He can work either through by himself or through the firm or company. So three options are available to the custom broker to work. How he can work either personally or through the firm or through a company. And once a person has passed, then an identity card is issued. And identity card, now what is the difference here in is that identity card in form F is issued in relation to the license. But what happens when the license is in the name of the firm or it is in the name of the company? Then whether F card will be issued to the company or firm or it will be issued to the individual who has passed the exam. So this proviso says that even though the license is in the name of firm or company, but F card will be issued to the individual who has passed the exam under regulation number six. See this, a custom broker who has been issued a license under sub regulation number two of regulation seven, what does it mean? This is, I'll take you to regulation number seven, sub regulation number two, that will be easy to correlate. This is here. Okay, the applicant who has been issued a license. So this is in the name of individual and this is in the name of firm or company. Okay, so to whom a license has been issued. Taking you back to regulation number 13. Hmm. So this says a custom broker who has been issued a license under sub regulation number two of regulation shall be issued a photo identity card in F. Okay, then further, provided that in case of license under clause number B, what is clause number B? Uh, form B2 for company. Yeah. Yes. When the license is issued to the firm or company in form number B2, in that case, it is a sub, it is sub regulation number two and clause number B. The photo identity card is issued to person who has actually passed the exam. Yes. So this may be in the name of firm or in the, in the name of company. It doesn't make a difference, but license will always be issued to the individual who has already passed the exam. Okay, so under regulation number 13, a custom broker, he can work in three ways. As individual or a firm or a company. What can be the position in the firm and what can be the position in company of the F card holder? In company, they will be director. Hmm. Huh? And firm may be a partner. Hmm. In the firm, only a partner. In the company, he may be a director or he may be employed. There is a difference, right? So concept of employee is applicable only in relation to company in the, right? In this case, license, this is form number B1. B1. And in these two cases, B2. License, this is form number B2. Okay, in all cases, F card only for the individual
who has actually passed exam under regulation number 6 i hope this gives a more clarity yes right so in the case when the person is working in the individual capacity he is having license form number f1 plus f card but if when the license has been issued under in form number b2 so this is regulation number 7 sub regulation number 2 clause number b okay so license is in b2 so that is in the name of either company or a firm but f card will always be for the individual who has actually passed the exam so f card will never be issued to the firm or to the company clear noted hmm. now it now it comes to employees so first one is working with a custom broker working himself now about the employees a custom broker me having regard to the volume of business transact by transacted by him employ any number of persons right But for the time being, just omit the words other than F card holder and continue here to assist him after verifying their antecedents and identity identity at the declared address by using the reliable, independent, authentic documents, data, or information. Right. So, who is going to verify the correctness of the information provided by the employee? Whose responsibility it is? Just the responsibility is of the custom broker. right but how he has to be like how he is to verify documents only on the basis of reliable independent authentic documents now as of today which is considered the most authentic document aadhar card aadhar card so you have taken you have seen the original aadhar card you have seen the address given there and you have said verified the pan card by chance if there is any or there you have taken some other data also that is good enough right it doesn't require you to go and verify whether he is actually living at that place or not okay so similar thing is there for the clients also right so the particulars of the client that is kyc know your client that is also based on reliable independent and authentic documents so same is about the client about the employee also okay but this this doesn't apply in relation to f card holder because his antecedents his particulars have already been verified by the government authorities before the grant of license so at this entire paragraph is only for the for the employees who are other than f card holder it doesn't mean that one custom broker cannot hire another custom broker another f card holder certainly he can hire but in that case the verification is not the responsibility of the employer his antecedents have already been verified provided that such an employer and uh, to watch full video join the regular online batch call tail institute